Hello everyone, it's Gabby. So, ages and ages and ages ago, I went to a convention and I saw this poster. And I was like, oh man, this poster it looks really cool. Like, I've seen this thing, I've seen this art before. I think it's from like a Game Boy game or something. Like, it's like the cover art for that. And it's like, yeah, I, I thought it was a really cool piece of art because you've just got like Goku and Gohan together and you've got like Freezer and Cell. And I feel like it's just a really good exemplification of this kind of part of the story so I was like I was gonna go and bought I bought it and then I was so I went and bought it and then there was also like it turns out it came in a like a copy of several posters they're also there and it was like you know in this like one piece of plastic and I'm like oh it's a great deal that's just great and then I realized that this is probably first of all this is probably kind of bootleg and second of all it's Dragon Ball posters and the thing about Dragon Ball posters is they're kind of like, it's sort of a gamble as to whether or not they're actually good or not. Because they can be good and they can also be really ugly and also kind of like just, just the worst thing ever. So here we go. I'm going to go and show you the kinds of things that come in this, in this poster. So we've got this one. This one's, you know, this one's cool. It's good. This is the one that I wanted. This is the one I bought this for. Then you've got this one, which is Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z official art. I mean, it's, you know, it's very Yamamuro, and it's kind of a little bit ugly, but at the same time, it's like, uh, you know, at least it's actually official. At least it's like, I know where this comes from. I know what the source of this is. So then you have, okay, this is like the, the, the first cooler movie poster, but it's like redrawn because it's clearly not the art from the 90s. It's probably one of those things for like the, um... I don't know, like one of those like redrawn movie posters for like recent merchandise and it looks, doesn't look as good as the 90s one, but it's really all right. And then, so what's the next one? Uh, okay, um, never seen that piece of art before. I'm assuming this is also redrawn 90s promo art. I mean, it's, it's all right. It's just a bit, I'm a bit confused because I've really, I swear I've never seen these pictures of Goten and Trunks and Gotenks before, even though I feel like I've seen lots of this stuff. All right, now we're getting to... Oh, okay. Actually, this one's not too bad either. It's a looks like a recent thing. It might have been for like Dragon Ball Kai or whatever. It's still kind of very square faces, but whatever. All right. Okay. So it's actually not too bad so far. And then you have. Oh, okay. I've seen this one as well. This is once again. It's redrawn promo art, but it it's so ugly. Like, what is? Look at. If you've seen the original version of this, which I think is like a early like 1990s Alan Morrow piece of art it's beautiful but this just like look at Super Saiyan 3's hair it's just so like one-dimensional and gross and whatever so you know it's like uh I don't really like it. it's kind of ugly it's nice but it's ugly and then I have then but then we get this what what is this what is this so we've got Super Saiyan Blue, Goku and Vegeta, Golden Frieza, Piccolo, and what is that, Gohan? Like, what is it, like the Time Patrol outfit, or is it like Resurrection F, and he's got his glasses on? What, why is there a GT Kid Goku there? If this is GT, why is there Go Super Saiyan Blues and Golden Frieza? What actually is this? I'm, like, this is how I knew it was bootleg. I'm like, what? What? Uh. All right, there's one more to go. Can it can it possibly get worse? Yes, it can. No, no, no. Dragon Ball AF isn't real. Stop! It's not real. It means April Fools. It's not. <laughs> so when I saw this, I kind of just felt like I wanted to burn it. It's just gross because it's. You know, with Goku's forms, but then they have Super Saiyan 5. Why is this franchise so cursed?